Hey family, welcome back to my channel, The Pisces Way. A place for a Pisces made just for a Pisces. Sun, moon, and rising. And you already know, it's your girl, Happy Sisma. And you already know how we do, so sit back and relax. And we're definitely going to get the tea for the Pisces. Cross watches are definitely welcome, welcome, welcome. I want to go and lay you on a couch. Yes, yes, we can play house. I want to go in and do a love reading. Okay, because it's been a long time. We need to put some loving in the air. Noel, bring your butt out of there now. Let's put some love in the air. Let's quick sage our energy. High power, archangels, ancestors, gods, and goddesses of the divine white light. Please protect me and my family as we dip into this read. Please protect our energy from any unwanted souls, vibes, or entities. Go put it back. Please. Guide us with the clarity and the truth. Please surround us with your love and guidance. High power, archangels, ancestors of the divine white light, showing gratitude and thanks for all the blessings, the lessons, the seasons, and new beginnings. For you delivering us away from temptation, guiding us throughout our journey to the motherland of milk and honey. Forever grateful for your divine protection and love. Amen. Now, with that being said, let's tap in. Somebody stirring the pot. Stirring the pot, okay? I'm hearing like a moth to a flame, like a pot to a kettle. Okay, there's a match here. So if there's a match, even uh, the vibration. Sorry, y'all, I just got the shower. I'm on ashy ass elbows in the camera. Excuse me. Um, <laughs> I just got the shower, though. Let's see. But I'm hearing lay you on the couch. Yes, yes. We can play house. Somebody want to play house. But I'm getting like, they want to be for real with it though. Okay. So I am going to do a love reading. This might be 18 plus, might not. Um, I just want to put some cards on the love situation. Um, what's your next um, relationship going to be like? Okay. Pisces next relationship. What can they expect? What can Pisces expect? Looking like your daddy. So I'm getting like whoever this person is you're gonna get in a relationship with, you guys are definitely gonna have a son. Okay. And this son is gonna look just like their father. Okay. Somebody could be Dominican Republic, somebody could be Haitian. I'm also getting Hercules. So somebody could be like um Greek. Okay, or I'm also getting like they could somebody could possibly be like um Italian. Or yeah, like this is uh, yeah, yeah. The the color blue could be significant as well. Apricots, apricots. Okay. Made it through the mud. So for some of you guys, this situation that you're gonna get in, or like this this relationship, this next relationship you're gonna be in, this is gonna be a situation where you guys are gonna get it out the mud. Like you guys are really gonna make it through the mud. Okay, yeah, I'm hearing dirt, stone on your name, temptation, okay. A lot of things could have transpired um, with you in this relationship with this next person, whoever you're going to be in a relationship with, okay. I'm, get, I'm hearing hidden attention. Holidays at home. So some of you guys, you're going to, um, yeah. Okay, this could be a situation where you got family members or, you know, mm -hmm, that necessarily don't agree with you guys. You guys could be twin flames. You got family members that's not going to necessarily agree with you and you and this person being together or, you know, having a relationship or being happy or things being settled. They're not going to they're not gonna be happy with that. They're not going to appreciate that. Um, they're not going to like that. Some of you guys are going to spend a lot of holidays at home. You're not going to go out. With um, family and friends. We got ex-husband, past burdens coming out in the reverse. So some of you guys, you have an ex-husband that's lingering in your fucking energy. Or somebody that could have, you know, an ex, I mean, an ex-brother or an ex-spouse, relative, friend. I don't know, like, but I, I that's what I'm hearing. But I'm seeing ex-husband. So some of you guys, it could have been, like I said, an ex-husband, ex-boyfriend, ex-lover, baby's father, whatever. 
right? This person is still like lingering in your energy. Um, this person is trying to hold on to you for dear life. Okay, I'm hearing saber tooth tiger. Yeah, this person wants to start sink their teeth into you. Okay, you have a brand new beginning here. You have happiness and bliss. Okay, I'm hearing somewhere where you can call home. You're gonna feel at home in this relationship. It's gonna be like. It's going to be like you guys, okay, for some of you guys, this is an ex. I'm hearing like you never left. Touch my body, show me on the phone. Mess with me around, play with me some more. Touch my body. Sorry about that, y'all. No, we'll keep playing in this water. Think I don't know. Nope. Don't go. Don't come out that room. She likes to go in the bathroom and play in the water. No. So let's finish. Okay. Anything else? High five. If you go in that bathroom, you're finna get in trouble. Go sit down and watch TV so I turn it off. Thank you. Anyways, let's get back to it, y'all. So, what else is here, High Power? What else do they need to know about their next relationship? What do you guys need to know? Okay, rebirth of your ancestors. Yeah, you guys are bringing in ancestry children, too. Okay, this child that's going to look just like their father here is an ancestor baby, uh, ancestral baby. So, that means, like, when your ancestors are being rebirthed here, don't be surprised at this person. This baby come out very fucking smart, intelligent, okay? Oh, I'm hearing attractive, too. This baby's going to be very beautiful, handsome, pretty little boy. I'm getting like a baby with some chubby cheeks, okay? Curly hair, very handsome, okay? Yes, I'm getting like your ancestors are cheering. Your ancestors want this to happen because they're ready to be reborn, into this damn world. Especially the, the ancestors that was taken out over some type of injustice. This this ancestral baby has been waiting for a long time, y'all. This baby, this baby has been waiting for a long fucking time to be born. So we have, I just want to be happy with you, only you. So somebody is definitely making a statement here. Somebody's making it known, okay? Ain't no sugar coating, ain't no in the middle. This person's going to be very upfront with you. No trickery, no fuckery, no behind the back slimy shit. This person's going to tell you, and they're going to let you know. Even if you might overthink and feel like they're not, you know, sure your affection, this person's going to tell you, like, oh, yeah, no, I love you. I only want to be with you, okay? I want to be happy. Said I'd rather be with you. I'd rather be with you. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Y'all, I don't know. Somebody finna have some good sex. Cause I'm getting how ooh, somebody could be small or you know, short or petite or like you could just be like or slim or something easy to pick up. Somebody could be like buff. I'm gonna like y'all gonna be fucking how um Jody, how um Jody and and, and uh, Melvin, how they was fucking. <laughs> how they was fucking when she was picking them up. She's like, oh Melvin, yeah, <laughs> all around the room and shit. <laughs> hey, and some of y'all, you this person gonna take you on vacations and y'all gonna be fucking like that, y'all. The people gonna be hearing y'all fucking while y'all, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, they gonna, yeah, the neighbor's gonna know somebody's name because the way y'all gonna be tearing it up, not just at the house, it's gonna be like everywhere, all over the world. You never put me first, everyone else was always more important to me. Okay, so somebody is feeling that, little Debbie Downer. I feel like somebody, I feel like somebody is a little emotional about that. Somebody's always putting other people first, person, place, and thing. Um, somebody could feel almost like a burden, like they were a burden to somebody. Not like a blessing, but more of like a burden, like 
that they were in somebody's way. And so, yeah, this is how somebody feels here. Back shot because I'm finna punish you pound town. These came out together though. So I'm getting like somebody wants to have makeup sex, possibly. Or somebody's gonna tell you something while y'all having sex. It might not this person might have yeah, I'm here extreme pleasure. Ooh, this gonna be heavy here, real steamy, real passionate because of this particular reason. Because of there so, being so many emotional emotions built up, y'all gonna cry, but it's gonna be some like y'all gonna be taking each other so y'all might be little fuck all night. Like y'all gonna take each other so like y'all gonna be breathless afterwards. Like this is some shit where you better get a hotel room for this because it's more than fucking. It's like making love, passionate sex all night. But it's like so much chemistry. Like it's going to be passionate and aggressive at the same fucking time. But it's going to be more passionate than aggression. But it's going to be aggression in there. Because we got mixed emotions and feelings here. And then it's like, you know, you know somebody here still kind of feels some type of way. Or they just feel like a burden or that they were a burden to somebody. That they were more of like, you know, a burden than an asset. That they should just leave somebody alone. Like somebody feels unappreciated, um, unaccepted, um, in the way, you know. Or that's how they did feel once upon a time. But somebody's saying back shot because I'm finna punish you. I feel like whether you want this person to punish you. Okay, baby. Or this person saying like I'm a I'm a I'm gonna beat that pussy up, you gonna cry and I'm gonna kiss it and I'm gonna make you feel better and like this person like I don't know, they might be ah, it's something about it sounds weird, but I feel like after this person after you guys have sex for like the first time, this person's gonna be like changed. Even if this is like an ex. This person is going to be, like, changed. I'm getting, like, making breakfast and things like that. Like, this person is going to be changed. Like, they're going to get up and bring, like, how Melvin got his ass up and is in the kitchen butt-ass naked. I'm getting, like, somebody finna be in, girl, I'm getting, like, somebody finna be in the kitchen butt-ass naked, dick swinging everywhere. All on the bacon. It's not just. But no, I'm for real, though. Somebody is. They're going to get up and make you breakfast and everything. Like, this person going to want to show you like it's like it's like get that ugly cry on and like never have to deal with that again and i, I do feel like this gonna be something y'all never gonna bring this up again watching the sun come up it's like y'all gonna have that conversation y'all gonna talk about it or like the i feel like the sex is what's gonna bring the emotions out like you guys are gonna be fucking real good it's gonna be real passionate it's gonna be like man i fucking love you all eat you and your shit right now why the fuck you do that and like it's gonna be like plenty of shit like, and then shit just gonna come out. Like, I feel like both of y'all gonna be crying. Like, this person been through shit, you been through shit. Y'all gonna be, y'all probably be crying about two different, completely different shits. But y'all gonna be, it's gonna be passionate. But then it's gonna be like this coming together. I'm getting like foreheads touching. I'm getting like, yo, you guys are gonna be coming together. And it's gonna be like wiping each other tears. And it's like, well, let's put all this shit behind us. We didn't did this shit now. So it's like. Okay, we up or something like that. Yeah, watching the sun come up, and I feel like that's how I, I feel like that's how the night gonna end. I feel like that's how the night gonna end. Y'all gonna be all night. We be all night. Ah. <laughs> Somebody dealing with a Virgo. No, for real. Y'all gonna be all night. Like I'm getting like y'all gonna sit and watch the sun come up. Like after all that, some of y'all. The sun might already be coming up, and you might be like, look, the sun coming up. And then, like, y'all go watch the sun come up. And then, yeah. And then it just be the morning time. It's like a transition. Wow. It's actually very, it's more passionate than you might even think. It's actually very beautiful because when you think about it, it's really like a transformation. It's going to be like a transition, you know, when the sun goes down, and then it's like it's a one day, and then when the sun comes up, it's another day. It's a whole new day. Like, I feel like it's going to be a whole new, brand new beginning. It's going to be new. 
And I do feel like you guys are never going to bring this shit back up again. Like, whatever y'all been through, whatever happened, it's like, okay, it's over now. It's over. Let's, let's let it go. Shit, what are we holding on to it for? We are not ready. Fuck and everything. Ain't no point in being mad no more. Anything else? Somebody said they love your nipples. Not like anyone I've ever met, yet very familiar. This person's recognizing you from another life. Yeah. They're recognizing you from another life here. And they probably wasn't they probably wasn't for sure. They could have even had dreams about you, but they didn't see your face or it was something that they had to recognize. Like, damn, that was or they have dreams about you and it's like, damn, that's you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, I, I'm having dreams about them. Like, I can't stop thinking about them or something like that. Yeah, I love how your body looks when pregnant. This person loves, like, this person going to always want to get you pregnant. Or this person is going to get you pregnant here. If y'all got children already, this person could be looking at pictures of you being pregnant. Or they, or if you guys have children already. Then it's like they remember you being pregnant. They want to get you pregnant again. But they want that to be their baby. Like they, they're wishing they was there rubbing on your belly and rubbing your feet. And mm, this is going to be somebody that will lick your pussy while you're pregnant. I'm hearing it. Let's experiment with different lifestyles, wait, different lifestyles, sex styles, habits, switch it up, go with the flow, flavors, toys, places, everything new. So this person is going to do everything new. They're not going to do anything with you that they did in the last relationship, and I think you're you're not going to do that either. I feel like it would be too much of a trigger. It's like you guys are putting yourself through, like, some type of threat therapy. And I was hearing threat. I was going to say threat. Somebody feels threatened. But we ain't going to talk about that because we're not bringing that up. But you're, you guys are going to put yourself through some type of therapy. So it's like, you know, if I if if I did this, let's let's switch that position. I don't want to do that no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, because like, I don't want to bring up any memories or a transit. Like, I don't want, I don't want that. So, like, I'm getting you guys are going to do things completely different. Brand new. Yep, learning date, yes. Learning something new, exploring creativity, different shades of each other, Dip something different. I'm getting like you guys are going to actually explore each other and learn each other, the new version of yourself. And for some of you guys, if you don't know your new version of yourself just yet, you do know what you don't like. So it's the energy of like talking, sitting down, having lunch, dinner, whatever. And it's like, well, what don't you like? What don't? What, how can I be here for you how every way you need me to be baby if you don't like me calling you don't are you a morning person do you want me to wake you up in the morning or no or do you do you want breakfast in the morning do you want let's let's get some understood here let's 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 and let's set boundaries it's like yeah or let's 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 make up our own rules or let's do what we want to do you know something like that like i i um yeah somebody saying and I rub your back in the morning. Or I'll rub your back in the morning. Oh. Garden. Somebody wants a garden. Or a garden is significant. Plant flowers. Somebody wants to plant the flowers and I have them in the house. Like, you know how you plant flowers outside and then you bring them in the house. Okay. Roses. I'm hearing roses. Girl, I'm hearing they hate our love. Want to see us. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They want to see us. Whoa. Yeah. I'm getting like that Beauty and the Beast with the roses petals. It's a, it's a, a symbol of you guys' love. That's really, somebody is fucking deep. Somebody is deep. It might blow your mind. Like, what? 
like it's a it's it's like a rose will be a symbol of your love what y'all went through but not in a bad way it's like let's plant this together and let's bring it in the house as a symbol of our new love um that might be i'm also getting something about matching tattoos yep it says dinner day or lunch date okay so they're gonna ask you that which one would you prefer you want to have lunch with me baby do you want me to pick you up for lunch or you want me to bring you some lunch or do you want to have dinner later you just go out for dinner and then we got star seed child mm -hmm. i told y'all some of you guys somebody could be a clubber and somebody's not a clubber or somebody likes to go out and somebody don't look tight fit i'm getting like you guys are perfect Somebody and somebody goes out and don't go out. It's like let's do this together. I don't want to fight anymore. Let's get let's get some help fixing our relationship. Willing to work through this. Somebody's willing to work through it. I'm getting like somebody holding out their hand and they want to know if you're willing to work with them. Um, I do feel like this is a tight fit. You guys are gonna feel like a glove. Like you guys are. I don't even feel like you're gonna have any differences. Because it's going to be such a tight fit. Like, it's like, I don't... You guys are going to pr pretty much agree on every fucking thing. Like, it's like, what don't you agree? Like, oh, I want this for dinner. Well, well, I want that for dinner. It's like, oh, okay, well... Rock, paper, scissors. You know what I'm saying? So, Y'all going to... And then it's like, oh, you, you win? Okay, cool. Well, we eat what I want to eat tomorrow, then. Shit, ain't no big deal. You know... Something like that, like, who want to cook? I don't want to cook. I don't want to cook either. Well, let's cook together then. Like, something like that. Like, <laughs> like let's agree to disagree. Or, like, let's just order food or for some of you guys. But I'm, I'm getting, like, bonding. Somebody's going to want to bond with you. Like, they want to they wanna be with you. Like, this person, they're so fucking silent. But, like, they're active. Like, I don't know. I don't know if it's that they don't know how to express themselves with words. Possibly could be that, but this person, they're going to be doing a lot of shit. Like, this this person might like surprise you. I'm getting, like, this person bringing food to you. Like, hmm, taste this. It's good. Need some more salt. Do they know how to cook or something? Maybe they want you to show them how you like certain stuff so they know how to make it for you. I don't think this person knows how to cook, y'all. Yeah, big family. You guys are gonna be you guys are gonna have a big family. And so just to let you guys know, there's gonna be a boy born first and then there's gonna be a girl born. Okay? Uh, uh, uh the the a son is gonna come first and then there's gonna be a baby boy. I mean a, a baby girl. Wow, and look at that. I was just thinking twins. For some of you guys you might have a boy and then a girl and then twins. Or this boy and a girl is going to be twins. We also got oh, give them some, give give them some to look at. Let's make them motherfuckers jealous. And it came and twins was behind it. It's a girl. Let's give them something to look at. Let's make them motherfuckers jealous. Twins. I was getting like y'all gonna be doing a lot of fucking. It's gonna be real passionate though. And this little girl is going to be born. This little girl might be a Scorpio. Or a Scorpio could be significant. And then twins. Oh, Scorpio. Shy. She's going to be really shy. Some of you guys, you're shy because I heard shy like her mother. Yeah. Or, or what I'm, wow. Or what I'm getting is you're going to go, you're going to get pregnant for the second time. You're going to go to the doctor and it's going to be twin girls. And they could be Scorpios. It's going to be twin girls. Wow, that's for some of you guys, okay? 
they hate on the moon. Let's get a few more and then we'll close it out. I ain't gonna make it super long. One, two, three, four. This is how the divine masculine feel as well. This is divine masculine sex deck. Come out of my back. Come out of there, please. Stop running in here. No, no, no. I'm not pouring no more water. Go put my water back, please. Thank you. Go put it back. Go put it back. So let me see. One card flipped over, y'all. Here we go. And I'm going to get one more. Somebody dealing with a Sagittarius. I'm here and show me what you want. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Show me what you want. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's Tiana Taylor. Tonight I'ma fuck you. Tonight I'm gonna be fucking you back to sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me what you want from me. Yeah, so. This is divine, divine feminine. I'm gonna use this for divine feminine. I just want to I'm gonna use this for divine feminine. So this is how divine feminine feels on this side. Okay. And then we're gonna get the sexual counter. I did get some more sex cards too. Let me see. I ain't gonna pull these. Huh? Nope, I ain't gonna pull these. I'm gonna pull this one. Let me see. I'm gonna pull these. Huh? So, this is how Divine Master feels. Okay, first one we got Your Body is a Blessing. I'm grateful to. Wait, I'm grateful to partake in all of its pleasures. Oh, again, would this person want to, like, hold you and caress you, rub your back, okay? Be very steamy with you. This person, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing reassurance. This person wants you to be, they want you to know and want you to be assured that they are all yours. This person's going to hold you so tight. They're going to make you feel so warm inside. Like, the look on her face is just like, Feeling, you know, secured and feeling protected, feeling loved. It's like, yeah. Somebody might even like, while they rub me your back, they might do like little swirls or like kind of scratching your back or like something massaging it. Okay. This person's going to touch you. Like, they're going to always want to touch you. Okay. Um, or always want to be around you. This person might always want you naked, too. It's a physical thing. Like, it's like, you know how when a baby first comes out of their mom's womb, they want their bare chested? It's something like that. Like, I mean, like, when y'all, after y'all have sex, or, like, this person just don't always want to, like, kind of want you naked. Like, y'all might sleep naked, like, bare naked. And they don't always want you, like, like bare, like, not no clothes on. Because it's it's the physical. Even if y'all having sex or not, it's just like I want to feel your body heat. You know what I'm saying? Um, show me you need me as bad as I need you. Wait, ooh, what did I, what did I just say? <laughs> show me you need it as bad as me. But I I said show me you need it as bad need me as bad as I need you. So this person wants to feel they want to feel loved by you they love your loving they love how you love they know you love hard you can even be you know kind of keeping your distance a little bit because you love hard this person wants to know that's like they like no baby love me love on me please they begging for it because they want your love they want your affection yeah this person might nibble on your ear they might fuck you from the back and nibble on your ear whisper in your ear why they take taking deep long strokes? 
and then playing with your nipples at the same time is something about you being on your stomach or your side yeah i'm hearing whose is it yeah this person's gonna like they want you to scream their name or they want they they see this person here they want to express some type of emotion they're feeling towards you but they want to be sure that you feel the same way about them or they want to be sure that like they're not left out hanging by themselves that's why they're gonna say it like during sex but like after sex they are gonna want to know like okay I know that was during sex, but like, do you really feel that way about me? That's because I really love you. Yeah, show me you, show me you needed as bad as me. Like, the money, like, man, I need you bad as a heartbeat. Bad as the air I breathe. I want you bad, I can't take this pain. Man, this person needs to be around you. They need to touch you. Like this is what I'm getting. They need to. They need to be around you. They want. They need you physically. They need your touch. They're yearning for it. But I'm also getting like, they want to know you feel that way. Like they don't want to come in and you don't feel that way about them. It's gonna make them feel worse. It says I crave to fall asleep inside you. Yeah. This person want to fuck you and fall asleep in it. They want to fuck you and fall asleep in it. That's how somebody will get pregnant. I'm telling y'all. Preggers. And I'm getting like, this is going to happen every time. <laughs> it says, wake up just by, it says, wake me up by just sitting on it. Fuck this. Oh, yeah, they want you to wake them up. Mm -hmm. They want to wake up and you riding the dick. They want to wake up and you stuck in the dick. They want they want you to wake them up. That's how they want to, that's how they want you to say good morning to them. Like, hello, good morning. This person could be somebody who gets hard in the morning. They get like that hard dick in the morning. It could be after a night of fashion. But it's still going to get hard. And I don't know. This person just, they, get, they dick just get hard in the morning. Okay. It could be early in the morning. I'm here. Wake me up before you go. Yeah. Yeah, there's going to be a baby born here. It's going to happen fast, too. I'm still getting something off this damn card. Yeah. This person might love kissing you. Okay. Kissing on your neck, your cheek. They're going to want to kiss you a lot. Okay. This person might randomly kiss you. They might even kiss you like how, you know, people kiss their babies. Like, mm. They might even kiss you like that. Okay. Mm. This person want to rub their fingers through your hair. This person want a deep stroke so bad. Like, they want to, like, this is one of that. This is, like, it's going to be feeling so good. Like, the, the, the sex going to be feeling good, but then it's, like, they're going to be so passionate with it. This is, like, somebody that's, like, fucking you and massaging you at the same time or rubbing your, ooh, fucking you and sucking your toes or, you know, it's, like, they're going to be physically touching you and fucking, they're going to be tw doing two things at the same, like this person's into double pleasure is what I'm getting. They're gonna be doing two things at the same time, but most of it is gonna be like caressing. It's gonna be like caressing. Okay, we got sexy. I'm here tall. Somebody's tall or taller than you. Sexy, tell me what you require from me. Yeah. They wanna know what you like. They want to know the insight. They want to know what turn. I want to know what turn you on. This person listens to a lot of songs. So I can be Don't expect nothing serious. No strings attached. Now this is coming from Divine Feminine. I feel like Divine Feminine is you feeling this way about this master. Don't expect anything serious. No strings attached. Are you being cold-hearted or like um, you shutting this person out or are you trying to hide your feelings? I feel like a little bit of hiding your feelings. I'm also feeling like 
You don't know what to expect from this person. I thought I saw five of these. Let me get one more. You don't know what to expect from this person. Okay? And so, it's like, yeah. I think you know what you want, though. You want somebody to fuck you rough. Okay? You want to kind of be handled a little bit. The side fuck, you're the side fuck, or they are. Side fuck could also have a side fuck. So, Divine Feminine, I feel like this is you. You could be feeling this way. You feel this way about this person. Maybe they, you know, they could have made you a side fuck, or they, you know, have a side fuck, or something's going on here, and you're like, yeah, no. So, this could be you. You want to no strings attached, you know, don't expect nothing serious, you know. I don't think that you're going to be fucking or you're not even going to be thinking about having sex. This person's thinking about having sex, but you're, I feel like you're possibly like, you know, I don't know. Because I'm not trying to be a side fuck. I'm not trying to be a, a, a I'm here in a freak show. I don't got time for the triangles and all this stuff. Seek your fetish. But I'm getting the my family. You a little kinky. You like the whips and the chains. And you like all that shit. Some of y'all, you real fucking freaky. Attracted by the... I mean, um, activated by the right one. This person does something to you. This person does something to you. And they know what they do to. They bring some shit out of you. You be... I, I'm getting like they bring that roughness out of you. Or they bring that little extra freaky shit out of you but i'm getting like some of y'all you're gonna be trying to have your guard up because you don't you don't want to be nobody's side chick or you know possibly about a side chick or, or something that they had going on here but you also know that this person brings out this wild side of you Some of you guys could like dancing on a pole, or you might, they might like that or something. Or you like dancing in general. You like being kinky. You like, um, it's, you like a lot of different things here. Mm -hmm. You want them to be a little rough with you, and you, you, you like that shit. Okay. Yep. Not open right now. Don't deal with it. Um, don't want to deal with anyone. You got your legs closed, Divine Feminine. You're like, oh no. So this is how this this is what's going on here. And then we got nude. Okay, basic is better for me. So uh, basic is better for me. So some of you guys, you're not really. I mean, you could be somebody where you like makeup, you do makeup, but you're not really into all that shit. You're like, listen, you expected me to. Walk out the house every five minutes with some damn makeup on. I ain't doing that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you somebody where you get glammed up, you look good, but then, like, you don't have to. You're not the one who you feel like you got to wear all that shit to keep your man around or attracted to you. Because if that's the case, why would you be with him? So, it's like, no, you know, hey, you might catch me in a nightgown here and there. You might catch me walking around with it. My hair like this and my hair like that. Blah, 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 blah. Like that's going to be the lifestyle when you live with somebody. Don't expect to see them wearing makeup all the time. Don't expect to see them, you know, doing this or doing that because that's not realistic. Nobody walks around like that unless this is like a fake ass relationship, you know. You're going to you're going to have bad breath. You're going to have shit. You might be ashy sometimes. Your hair might be sticking up on, on top of your head. They might be walking around looking like a damn mess, too, in the morning. You never know. I mean, but sometimes I think this is what you're bringing to the table because you could be somebody where you're always in your comfortable state. So it's like, especially when you're at home, you're comfortable. So it's like, okay, when you come home, get off of work, you're probably going to take you a shower. You're probably going to lay down. But it, you know what I'm saying? It's like, um, yeah, you might, you might see me throw the wig off. You might see the wig on, 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 on the dresser. You feel me? You might see that. 
you know, shit, I just got done working, you know what I'm saying, that might be some of y'all divine feminine, or you might be like, uh, okay, like, you might, you, you know what I'm saying, you might just, you know, whatever, however you are in your comfortable state, I think that is what you're expressing to this person, like, okay, I'm, you know, I can also, I can dress up and be all like that, but then I can also be like this, and like, I, I feel like this is more you, you're actually more better in your comfortable state. That's what you like. Now, let's get some sexual desires. Even though Divine Feminine is like, nah. Mm -mm. You got your legs closed. Yeah. Somebody's like, yeah, I'm a proud of motherfuckers open. Somebody's like, nah, -uh, I'm getting in there, Divine Feminine. They gonna, they gonna seduce you, Divine Feminine. But I don't feel like it's in a tricky way. But I do feel like this person's planning on seducing you, though. They gonna break down the walls. You gotta like boundaries. You gotta a wall. They breaking that motherfucker down. They kicking it down. They like, no nah, man, let me in here. Nope, I'm coming. I'm stepping on through this shit. Whatever I need to do, I'm stepping through this shit. Put them boundaries down. Don't have no boundaries up. They gonna feel offended. Like, don't have no boundaries up against me. You gonna have boundaries up against me. Strength kept coming out, okay? Strength, I kept seeing the strength. Yep, six of clubs. I feel like somebody's imagining this. It could be divine feminine. You could want this. We got the death coming out in the reverse. So this is a rebirth here. The lovers is being reborn. Somebody else's time, though, has ran out here. You can even see this woman, but you see the lovers in the background. Somebody else's time has ran out um, here. And the lovers, are there's a rebirth happening. Wow, justice. Look at her. She's so fucking pretty. Somebody can be dealing with a Libra. She looks like a fucking fairy. Oh, I've, I've never seen this justice card in here. So, yeah, I'm getting like justice is being, you know, is, is taking place in this relationship. Okay, hangman, realization. So somebody here is having realization, yeah, that they're attracted to you. You could just be like doing your own thing in your own lane. And this person kind of want to sneak up on you. Ooh, they want to bind your hand. This person could be into like tying you up or something like that. Or something about having sex under a tree or outside. But this is something where y'all going to have to be very exclusive because... I'm getting, like, butt naked. This person want to, like, sneak up on. They just might fucking sneak up on you. And it's going to scare you. It's going to startle you. Like, what the fuck? Like, some of y'all is going to really startle you. Like, I'm getting, like, you turning around and that person's there. And you ain't seen that person in so long. Or, or, or something's going to startle the fuck out of you. And I'm getting hot. So I know I'm channeling. And something's going to startle you. You know, like, Whoa. What you doing here? Something like that. Like, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to catch you off guard here. But this person definitely want to sneak up on you. They've been admiring you from a distance here. They like your body. Okay. I feel like you have not been paying attention at all. You have not been paying attention at all. This person, been, you, you, some of y'all, this person is close than you think or they're around you or something. Because the way he, he's like super close to her and she's not even paying attention. She's looking a whole other way. Kind of like in La La Land. Or this might be what state you might be. Like, what state? Something about the state. What state you might be in. Like, you might be in a whole different state. Like, state of mind. Strength, okay? So, have strength. And we got the Two of Swords. So this person gonna be, you know, they're gonna come in very romantic. They're gonna come in like a gentleman here, okay? I feel like this is you though. You're gonna be in this two of swords because it's like, do I reject or do I go with it? But you, if you're gonna go with it, this is how you are right now. My legs are closed. Don't expect nothing serious. I feel like that's you. But whole time you kind of want this person to tear that ass up. Who you want this person to tear that ass up? You want to get down and dirty with them, with that um activated by the right person. You already know this person can activate another side to you, and I feel like that's part of the reason. No, no, please go in there and watch TV. 
I feel like that's part of the reason why, like, it's a two of swords to you. Because you like, man, I want to take my time. I want things to go slow. If we go out on a date, then that's cool. But, like, again, look at the rose. This man's going to be trying to romance you, okay? Put, he's going to put you on a pistol. He's going to make you feel some type of way. He's going to be doing everything right. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing, yes, ma'am, yes, sir. Somebody, um... I don't know if this person going to listen to you or something. Because I heard yes, ma'am. I don't know if this person could even be letting you take charge or something. Oh, my goodness. I'm hearing, there goes my shirt dropping down to my feet. Oh, my, oh, my, ooh. Yeah, some of y'all, <laughs> y'all may go on a date with this. Y'all might go out on a date with this damn person. And next thing you know, because I'm paying attention to her shoe. She got on one shoe and the other shoe gone. And it's like, I'm just getting like this person going to undress you. You're going to be somewhere and they're going to undress y'all. You guys are going to be somewhere and they're going to be undressing you. I don't know why. I feel like if it's a, if it, if you drunk if you've been drinking too much, they're gonna leave you be. I'm getting off of Daddy's little girls with Gabrielle Union, and she was like drunk, and he got her undressed, and he took her home, but he didn't he didn't try to do nothing. He just made sure she was good, and he left. I'm thinking that's I'm I'm getting that. But like if y'all if you if you let on. A little bit to this fucking person, they taking all. They they're 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 running with it. Like if you, if they if if y'all look in each other eyes, and, and and you let this person come up in your house, in your apartment, or whatever, or you go to their house, their apartment, or whatever. Oh, it's on. Like I feel like, <laughs> I feel like all you gotta do is go to this person wherever the fuck they staying at. If you go to their hotel room, apartment house whatever are they going to yours that's a sign for them like oh okay yeah mm -hmm. because they could have just went home so i know that's a green light for me like I, <laughs> I feel like that's what this person gonna be feeling like oh yeah that's a green light for me because they could have just went home oh they want to come over by the house all right cool Shit, let me get everything set up okay somebody gonna have aquarius in their chart okay so let me get the little your nastiest. Yeah, somebody's grandmother saying your nastiest. I think it's gonna go there. Can you handle it when I go there, baby, with you? Because mm. I feel like some of you, you want to let your guard down, and that's a bad decision. Like, that's hard for you. It's not a bad decision, but that's hard for you. Because of what you guys have been through, or because of everything, you're in this energy of like, no, I'm not having sex right now, blah, blah, blah. But you also know this person thinks they feel you. Just looking at them, you be like, damn. Some of y'all, you going to be fighting back and forth with yourself all night long. Like, man, am I going home with them or not? <laughs> Some of y'all, you might go home with this person. Y'all might still not even have sex. You might just want to spend more time with them. It don't have to always just be about sex, though. I'm getting that with this person, though. Yeah, I feel like this person is just going to want to be around you. It don't even have to always be about sex. That also could have been what that was when I um, was getting, like, that Gabrielle Union. Because um, I'm getting, like, how she went and laid in the bed. And he was kind of looking around her house, but not, like, not snooping, but he was, like, looking. Like, what she's into, what she this and that and that. Like, yeah, somebody's in, somebody could also be in amazement about what you do or what you're into. Like, they could really find it very attractive. Send me nudies. Nudies. This person gonna want some nudies, baby, because they love your body. I love your shape. Move your body like a snake, ma. Yeah. They want you to grind for them. Froggy style. Mm -hmm. Yep, somebody wants you on all fours, baby. Bouncing on that dick, making that ass jiggle. They want to see that ass jiggle, and they want to reverse froggy style, too. 
okay? Because they want to see that ass going up and down on that dick. Mm -hmm. Somebody's a creamer, okay? They want you to cream all over that shit. Mm -hmm. This person's going to have your hair in their hand while they're doing this, but they're going to be helping you bounce as well, though, back and forth. Taking you on a vacation, you fucking you all. Wait, I said taking you on a vacation, you. <laughs> taking you on a vacation, fucking you all night long. This is something you don't know. This is something they got planned. Pretty feet. Somebody say you got pretty feet. Talk to me freaky. Somebody loves when you talk to them nasty and dirty. Mm -hmm. That shit turns them on. Somebody's really kinky. I feel like both of you guys are really kinky. You like that shit. He like that shit. Uh, you like that shit and she like that shit. Like, yeah. They want you to just text them randomly while they at work or while you at work talking freaky and shit. <laughs> Are just randomly sending them nudies and shit so they can go run off to the bathroom and masturbate. Like, damn. Somebody dealing with an Aries or got Aries in their chart. Mm -hmm. I feel like this person is going to represent for you. Represent for you. Drunk sex. Drunk enough. Yeah, some of y'all, you might have sex. You might have some drunk sex. You might not be that drunk, though. But you're going to have some drunk sex. Yeah, I'm here. We be all night. Love. Yeah, y'all have. Why, Keisha? Yeah, pour me up another one. This person is looking at you. Yeah. I'm sitting here looking at, hey, do you love me? Do you love me not? Then you hit the spot. Taste like candy. Sweet like fruit. Wet like water. Can I love on you? Yeah. This person is looking at you like why, Keisha? Yeah, they can't get you out of their system, they can't get you out of their mind, I, I feel like you don't even know how much this person thinks about you, or admire you, or want to, you know, have sex with you, that pussy so wet, can I come in it, somebody gonna ask you, can they come in it, shit, this motherfucker gonna come in it, and they gonna sleep in it, y'all is gonna have, yeah, <laughs> Swingers, swingers club, but no swinging. Some of y'all, you might be into some different shit. That's that kinky shit. Y'all ain't got to swing, but you might go to the swing park. You feel me? Y'all might go up in that motherfucker. That don't mean y'all going to be doing that shit. But you might go up in there because it might be fun. It might be an experience. I feel like that's, that's the type of relationship this might be. You guys might do different stuff. Different stuff that other relationships don't do. Or they do, but probably different. Like, they probably been in a relationship where they were swingers, but they were swinging. You know what I'm saying? Or went to the swingers club, but they were swinging. But I mean, like, y'all got, you guys are going to go to the swingers club, but you ain't going to be swinging. Thumb in your butt while the dick in your pussy. Mm -hmm. All right. Face fuck me, daddy. Ooh. This is coming upside down. Divine masculine, divine feminine said Facebook her. Okay, or she gonna let you Facebook her, and I'm getting that what what like that that real shit. Like motherfucker might have to put that garbage can right there, or she might need you to help her. For some of you guys, she might need you to help her. Okay, cause I'm getting like a divine masculine that can have a big big dick. Okay, so therefore, she's going to need you to like, she's going to have to massage her, not necessarily help her with the deep throat, but, you know, kind of guide it down there, because you got to have a, uh, it could be bigger, big, okay, I said bigger, so some, somebody had grew, somebody grew, and for some of you guys, you just might have to put that garbage can right next to her, while she going time on that motherfucker i'm here next level she gonna be going next level on that dick like this gonna be some shit she gonna be sucking this dick your dick divine masculine better than she ever suck any dick ever if some if she want to see your cum faces let me move to the next level 
Oh no, it's let's move to the next level. So somebody's gonna be wanting to move to the next level. Somebody's probably gonna want to move in. Sucking your dick all the time because I, I can make it come quick. Yeah, look at you, divine feminine, boasting about your skill. Look, she like I can make that dick come in five point two seconds. What, what, what? Yeah, give me that nut, daddy. Yeah. <laughs> ah, look, I'm here and do it again. <laughs> Divine Master, I'm like, do it again. Bring your ass here. Come back. <laughs> Come here, Daddy. Let me lick you. <laughs> Yo, funny. Oh, my goodness. Come here, Daddy. Let me lick you. Look, I'm here. Let me punish you. This man gonna punish you. Yo, I'm sweating up in here. This man gonna punish you. Sucking on your uh, sucking on your neck hickeys. Yeah, this man, he gonna mark his territory, baby. Uh-uh. I'm going to be like, what's on your neck? Oh, nothing. Yo, what about with a scarf and band-aids and shit? <laughs> they going to be like, damn. Like, I'm, listen, listen. I'm getting like, y'all going to have probably bite marks. Baby, scratch marks. Y'all going to have a lot. There's going to be a lot of shit going on. They're like, damn. Somebody might bite your nipples. Y'all might bite each other. I'm getting like a busted lip. Not like that, though, but I'm getting, like, you know how you bite lip, like, bite the lip while you fucking? I'm getting, like, somebody gonna bite somebody's lip. I don't know if it's gonna be you or it's gonna be this person. Somebody gonna be biting. Somebody can't help it, and they gonna be biting. <laughs> like a snack. I don't know. Some of y'all, you might even smell good, too. Oh, my goodness. This person might literally try to chew you, like, literally, like, damn, damn. They might lure them, get somebody to lick on your back. Okay. Somebody's really good with that. Like the little tip of their tongue. They're going to use it. Use that motherfucker to his advantage. They mad as fuck. <laughs> Y'all, y'all got the third parties mad. Oh my goodness. They mad as fuck. Why did I even put that card in this deck? Yeah, the third party's mad. Yeah, I'm hearing they hate our love. I'm getting like, this man is taking pride in this. It's almost like man and a boo boo. It's like Jody. I don't know why I keep getting this baby boy energy. But it's, I mean, maybe somebody could be becoming a man. But I'm getting like Jody when um when that woman from his work when that woman from Jody job I mean um Yvette job was trying to fuck Jody. And he was like, mm. I'm getting like somebody sticking out their tongue like nah nah, you can't get no Jody dick. You can't get no <laughs> This man is doing this to somebody. He sees it somebody. Uh, or he will be. Mm. This person wants you to surprise them. They want to see if you can handle them. Mm. And it says, ooh, never, never had P-U-S-S-Y as well as yours, baby. Mm. Mm. They want you to know that. Ain't nobody got it wet like you, boo. Move. Stop sticking your finger in my door. Okay, in a minute when I'm done. So they saying like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Put it on the front, but it's coming out reverse. Somebody ain't putting on no front no more. They want it to be known. Like, yeah, that's my baby. Ooh, pretty feet. That came out twice. So somebody definitely feel like you got pretty feet. And a pretty, and a pretty pussy. Okay. Now I'm going to close on. It says, watching you while you sleep. This person want to watch you while you sleep. I knew they said like two cards. It says, keep sucking after I come. Mm. Somebody love that head. That head game. And they also want you to keep on sucking after they come. They want you to keep going. 
suck everything out, baby. I'm honestly in love with you. That's them admitting that to themselves. Pull out game strong. Don't get it like they letting that be known. Pull out game strong. Netflix and chill. This person gonna want to Netflix and chill with you. Okay, let's put some dates on it. I got five on it. No time to lose. My power says stop wasting time. It says Wednesday. Coming out in reverse. So not today probably. Or next Wednesday or on a Wednesday. So a door will open in time came out. So divine timing is when this person will come towards you. And then a weekday is when they will come towards you. Okay. So it's going to be on a weekday. Possibly a Wednesday. Okay, but that is all I have for you guys. Thanks for chilling with your girl. I appreciate all the love and support. Okay, if this resonates with you, you know what to do. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace, love, and prosperity, my babies. Till next time. Mwah.